Welcome to 2905 Arizona Avenue Northwest. You enter through a solid custom mahogany door onto an entry that goes three stories up, which you can't really see from this video, but it has a herringbone slate floor in the very wide entry and lighted stairs going up. To the right is a large, extra large one car garage with storage and plenty of room for an entry table here. This smaller bedroom would make an awesome office. There's a little closet that could be a playroom if you wanted to use it as a kid's area. Walk-in closet. It has a nice window though and we thought it would make a really nice office. Over here is a first floor bedroom, which again, it's a great, it's got an ensuite bath, it's a great bedroom. It could also be a workout room. It's got two large closets and big windows looking out on Arizona Avenue and then to the side yard. All the windows are Pella. And the floors, I believe, are oak. And this is the systems closet. There are this is a two-zoned house, um, which means it will be more comfortable for heating and cooling. Your comfort level will be better because they didn't just put one system in. And then over here is a large coat closet. It's like a walk-in with hooks. Going up the stairs, the second level is where all the living happens. And it's high above Arizona Avenue on the second level. It has a living room and dining room. The living room has a fireplace. It has this amazing, beautiful kitchen. And these doors that fold all the way back, these beautiful French doors, they fold all the way back to reveal this big patio. And then the, the yard is higher up in the back. Could be terrace, there's a number of things you could do. It has a lovely tree back in the corner but the kitchen is really beautiful. And there you can see the fireplace is currently wood burning, but it, there is gas to it if you wanted to um, have a gas fireplace. And then over here, there's a bedroom wing. And this is the first bedroom. That's a queen size bed. Again, the cool windows, double closets. And this has a Jack and Jill bath, two vanities, concrete tile floors, and then with a pocket door, the tub and the toilet. So somebody can brush their teeth and somebody can be using the bathroom, all with privacy. And then right over here on this hallway is the half bath for the main floor common areas. This looks out onto the backyard. Again, you have double closets, queen size bed, and this is looking the other direction through to the Jack and Jill bath. Going up the stairs to the third floor, it has this stunning window and you are really high up when you get up here. And this balcony looks all the way down to the foyer. So this is the family room. There's another powder room up here because you would likely have guests. And over here is kind of a common area if you are entertaining on your beautiful roof deck. 
and the developer put in drainage. You can't see it. I was trying to look over the edge. There's an integrated gutter system that's being finished up. Looking out onto the back, the neighbors have a tree house that they're just painting. Looking down at the yard. And then the patio. This is a really large deck. And all the wood on this house, I can't remember the name of it, the developer told us, but it's similar to Ipe. As long as you keep it oiled, it will stay that color, but it is, um, it's a non-rotting wood. So there's the powder room, and across from the powder room is a laundry room. And this, all of this, the beautiful deck, the wet bar, the den, are on the same level as the master bedroom. And we're gonna turn right and go into the master. It has a king size bed. And to be honest, guys, we would probably put the bed against the window. So when you walk on it, in on it, it would be really dramatic. This is the custom closet. And it, I do think there would probably be enough storage for you guys. And here is the master bathroom, and I'm not doing it justice. It's really quite beautiful. And it has a soaking tub and two shower heads, but very different from the last first place we saw today. This is looking up through the, up onto the patio from the side yard, we're entering from the side yard. Looking at the yard. And then you can see the French doors. 